Hi guys, just got the high generator all well, more or less completed. Of course, once you first get it started, then you have all kinds of tuning to do, which will take a few days. Uh, but basically, here it all is. Uh, you can see the uh, rotor segments are in place there, on one side and on the other side. Uh, the stator segments, I have only one set of stator segments. So you can see I can wire connected to one stator there, and the other side there's a stator there, going to the circuit with all the high voltage capacitors and diodes. And here's my, on this side I've got my high voltage positive uh, DC and this side is my uh, negative which is basically just a ground plate. Um, let's see, uh, on this side here I'm measuring on this, uh, this is my high voltage power supply and I'm measuring using this probe. And I'm going to a small little meter here. We're measuring the output coming from the stator segments. That's going to this oscilloscope right here. And I'll show you that in a minute. And here we have the rotor controls for speed, and that's the high voltage control right there. Okay, you can hear it's running right now. Unfortunately, I can't put a photo tachometer on, on it anymore because there's no way to put it in the system. <laughs> Everything's blocked. Um, but you can see, uh, hear it running there. You can see it's fairly smooth. But down here, you can see the scope output. You can see some spikes there, but as I said, it's just, I've just gotten this working, so there's a lot of illumination to be working. That could easily just be sparks happening somewhere. The uh, high voltage right now, it's at uh, it's about 2 kilovolts. I'll just turn it up a little bit here at a speed. Just so you can hear how smooth it is. There is a little bit more rumbling there, so there's some imbalance in the rotors, but um, that's, for that speed, that's, that's pretty darn good. Again, lots more now analysis and tuning to do for, before I can determine what those spikes are. And there we go.